Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. I've been working on cars for the last 43 years. And I used to be driven nuts trying to figure out where suspension noises are coming from in my customers' cars. Because cars will often make suspension noises when you're driving, but hey, when you jack them up, they often won't make the noise when it's not driving down the road. So I end up scratching my head wondering where the noise is coming from. Quite a frustrating experience. You don't want to just guess with super expensive suspension parts, but there's an alternative now. It's called the Steelman Wireless Chassis Ear. It comes in a box, and here's how it works. It has four remote broadcasters and one receiver that lets you hear the noise of where the broadcasters are set. The broadcasters come with little clamps that clamp onto the area you want to listen to noise on. Now this Toyota is making noise in the front. I kind of suspect a wheel bearing, but I can't tell which one it is, so we'll jack it up and hook the clamp up to the strut assembly, because it'll take the sound from the bearings quite well. Now we don't want the broadcaster to be damaged, so we'll get a little handyman's helper duct tape and tape it to the hood so it doesn't fall off. Then we'll do the same on the other side. We'll hook up the number two broadcaster inside on the strut and duct tape it to the hood too. Then we'll get the wireless receiving unit and a set of headphones and go for a ride. Now you should really have someone else drive the car while you're listening to it, but hey, I work by myself, so I'm just going to have to do it solo. While you're driving, switch between channel 1 and channel 2 and see where the noise is coming from. So we'll check the sound. Here's the noise from number 1, which you can hear is pretty loud. And here's the sound from number 2, which is pretty quiet. So you know it's the number one wheel bearing that's bad. And a wheel bearing job takes a lot of time and it's pretty expensive, so now we know which one to do. And since this kit comes with four different receivers, you can stick them in four different places when you have noises that you're not sure what they are. And it doesn't stop there. Heck, you can even hook these things up to your fuel injectors to listen if they're firing correctly. Just hook them up to the fuel injectors and run the car. Just hook up all four broadcasters and listen to them. If one injector sounds different than the other ones, you know that one's bad. The use of this chassis ear is really only limited by your imagination. Who knows, you might even invent a new use for it yourself. So if locating car noises is driving you nuts, you might opt out for a little electronic help. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from this ride.